In 1998, North American gamers were treated to Alundra, a wonderful action RPG that emphasized puzzle completion and action-oriented gameplay. The title was very well received and given an impressive localization by Working Designs. Its follow-up, Alundra 2, aimed to recreate the appeal of the first but with a new 3D look, and it arrived on the PlayStation in North America in 2000. It featured the same developer, Matrix Software, but with new publisher Activision instead of Working Designs. Keep in mind, the game hit shells when interest in the PlayStation was waning. The PlayStation 2 was mere months away, and many fans had moved on to new frontiers. In Alundra 2, you play as Flint, a famed pirate hunter in the kingdom of Varuna that is wanted for treason and searching for the pirates that caused the death of his parents. The king has been recently kidnapped and is thrown usurped by Baron Diaz, an evil schemer plotting to marry Princess Alexia, the king's daughter. In the process of infiltrating an airship, Flint finds a swarm of humanoid robots and a group of pirates, Zeppo, Albert, and Ruby. As he finds out, a powerful sorcerer named Mephisto is using magical wind-up keys to create the robots, which are designed as killing machines. After a scuffle with them, the ship becomes damaged and crashes into the sea. Flint washes ashore and is taken in by a villager, and the story takes off from there. For those that love the original Alundra, the graphics of Alundra 2 will probably be the biggest disappointment. The original game was marketed toward those that loved titles like The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past and Lufia 2, and the graphical style was certainly influenced by those games. Alundra 2, on the other hand, uses 3D polygonal worlds and 3D polygonal characters. The camera's default position is also very close and way too zoomed in for my tastes. You can press select to zoom it out, but even this doesn't give you much more of a broadened view. Spinning the camera is also jerky and doesn't look quite right. The movement and animations are very buggy and elevated terrain will make your character move in odd ways. It just looks like the game wasn't thoroughly tested. I can say this, it's certainly not the worst usage of 3D in an RPG I've seen on the PlayStation. <clears throat> Grandstream Saga. <clears throat> but it's not polished and doesn't come close to games like The Legend of Dragoon, where the polygonal character style actually looks pretty good. You have a normal attack button and a button for special items, which mostly matches the experience of the first Alundra. If you find enough puzzle pieces, you can learn combos that let you swing your sword more than one time in a string. There aren't any levels, so you gain more health and elemental points by buying and finding special items throughout the game. Just like the original, Alundra 2 does focus on puzzles, jumping onto multi-level blocks and platforms, and defeating bosses. In fact, I'll give the game that. The bosses are actually really cool. They were all big and imposing with special abilities, and they were all uniquely designed, so fighting against them was always pretty fun. Take a look at this big crocodile with a mushroom growing out of its back. Now that was just unique. It really is goofy though, which matches the impression you'll get through most of the game. The characters and story simply aren't interesting, and the puzzles pale in comparison to the first. Also, the voice acting in Alundra 2 is ridiculously corny. The story is ultra cheesy, and a lot of odd situations and dialogue occur that really threw me off. It seemed like the game was trying to do too much at times. Unfortunately, it pales in comparison to the original Alundra in every single way, and can be safely overlooked by RPG fanatics. Given what the original was, I'm surprised this one got greenlit at all, and I think it will disappoint almost everyone. You may actually like it if you've played almost every other RPG on the platform, but there's still plenty of higher priority action RPGs to play instead of this one. But in the comments below, I want you to tell me what you think. Am I off my rocker? Is Alundra 2 actually a good game? Let me know below if you have any special nostalgic moments from it. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell below for more retro gaming content, and please join my Discord community linked in the description. Also, please consider supporting my channel via YouTube's join feature to receive member exclusives, such as advanced videos and complete video transcripts.